So welcome to another quick screencast on how to customize the uh, NSI front panel simulator. My name is uh, Thierry Hillerer, a product marketing manager at NSI, and I'll be your guide today in showing you some new basic customization tricks. Today, let's assume I need to present this to the USC, the University of South California. And uh, I know that the University of South California uses Google Apps, so I have to reference that uh, on the touch buttons uh, within uh, the front panel simulator. Uh, I'm doing a quick assessment and I see that I will need to change uh, some ver verbiage uh, to reference to Google Apps uh, right here in the welcome screen. Uh, maybe also replace uh, the email icon as well here with a specific Gmail icon. Um, another uh, item I would need to change is here again this little icon and have it say scan to Gmail right here and if I scan to fax I have another reference point that says send copy to email I would need to change that uh, to say send copy to Gmail so uh, let's go ahead and uh, do that so first I want to change the imagery so I need to locate the icons folder so I double click here I have located the assets folder uh, I double click on the assets folder and uh, I'm seeing the icons folder I double click on that and here I see uh, all the images uh, that are being used uh, and built uh, by uh, the flash file as a data source so I see the little email icon right here named as uh, email.png so the trick is to replace it with another PNG that has the same name and make a fallback copy of uh, the uh, original image so uh, let me do that I do a copy of the original image and I have prepared here my little uh, Gmail icon and uh, I will rename this one and to email note that uh, I need to respect uh, the image dimensions here um, and replace it preferably with uh, a transparent background PNG image file for best effects uh, but uh, a transparent image is not mandatory it just looks better uh, the, I, the image dimensions however uh, from 48 to uh, 48 pixels are mandatory uh, if you want the image, to, uh, the image file to render properly so I've done that uh, let me quickly recycle it and test if it did pick it up properly yes it did so it referenced now the little Gmail uh, icon so let me change the verbiage now so I have three sections uh, I have uh, identified where I need to change some verbiage to reference to Gmail um, so I need to open the config.xml file I see it right here note that I also made a, a fallback copy uh, in case uh, I blew uh, anything up uh, that's always very handy so right mouse click I open with notepad here is my uh, XML file it's just a text file so I need to locate the right strings so the first one is uh, in the main section scan documents and send to as a Gmail attachment so note that it is a description tag so you know I can freely change whatever is in here to say whatever I wanted to say uh, the second one is uh, here and the start variables uh, that's uh, you know the main screen where you have the four main touch buttons that are being displayed in the simulator I want this to reference scan to Gmail so I change that to say it scan to Gmail and finally I need to do another tweak and the scan to fax demo where I need to reference as well to Gmail so I scroll down and here it is under scan to fax variables fax number that's the first label and the second label is send copy to email that's the one I want to change send copy to Gmail so let me close this and save it and now normally everything should render properly let me cycle back to the flash file let me fire it up and here it is so uh, and all worked so I hear I have my little Gmail account uh, icon it changed the verbiage to scan documents and send as Gmail attachment so that's nice uh, here the first label uh, picks up the icon normally and uh, has it here being displayed so I can close that uh, scan to fax here is referencing again send a copy to Gmail so uh, all of my customizations worked this concludes this quick tip on how to uh, customize label icons and uh, label texts and I am ready to pitch this professionally to the University of South California thanks for listening